gentlemen, that is book fever. <laughs> Throughout our deer management, we shoot many books. Every so often a book comes along and we give him a name. We give him a name because he's got character, we've known him for a long time, we've left him, we've watched him, we've seen him. And this is one book in particular, The Bank Book. The area where he lived was perfect for him because he looked straight down to where we were coming from. So always had a view and the approach was always difficult. As we arrived, we immediately saw him running his doe, which was a bit of a surprise to me. We headed to where we thought he was going to be. But he saw us, smelt us, and was gone. And that was another outing finished. We continued on and set up a position. And I decided to try and call him back if I could. But all that did was bring in a younger book. It's virtually the end of the rut and we've hunted this book a few times and this is our uh, hopefully our evening uh, the weather's been a little bit intermittent but uh, between the rain showers we've got a little bit of sunshine it's not particularly cold and uh, we're out with the k5 again uh, i've changed the ammunition on it today so we've re-zeroed it and we're using the um, 165 grain gmx which is their uh, owner the outfitter um, I've had no experience of this on a deer, so uh, I'm using it on my best deer this year, so we'll see what it's going to react like. So non-toxic, beautiful looking round, and performed well on the range earlier, so I was happy with that. And uh, let's see if we can get the Kipla yeah, Kip, Kip yeah. to speak, Anthony. So there's your, Thank you. there's the little lady, there's your bullet. Got a couple in my pocket and then two in the sling. We're going to head to the hills.
Great shot, Ant. <sighs> Great shot, Ant. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, that is book fever. <laughs> well, Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, oh, flipping heck, three, four times I've been for this book, we've seen him in the spring, saw him last year and we didn't get him, he's an absolute stonker of a book, unfortunately for me we gave him the name Anthony's book, <laughs> which has meant, um, Look, the doe still here, look, she's absolutely tated. Yeah. Let me just film this, Dan. Just a sec. The doe still here. Wow. He's been running her hard. That's the younger doe. That's two and a half metres away, that is. <laughs> and I thought I'd called them. We hadn't called them at all. What had happened was, he's just running her in the oh. evening. I told you this time, between six and seven. Is the golden, golden hour. hour. And, um, well, third time up. Oh my God. <laughs> we got him. Awesome. Oh my, that could have, couldn't have been better. Couldn't have been, couldn't have been better for, uh, for Anthony as an experience because we called him last week and the doe came across and we lost her and came behind us, sussed us out and went. And now I'm sitting here calling, thinking this is a good call, nice time, perfect, everything's good. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And out the distance comes this, I thought, I see, they're coming to the call. They weren't coming to the call at all. Forget about my calling. This is just the rut in full swing, 9th of August, going like a train. He is absolutely running a flat. His tongue was hanging out. And he, ran, he ran right past us, didn't he? He's just gone two yards in two front yards of us. Two yards in front of us, two, two, two yards, yards in front of us. Forget about calling. Oh. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, he still has this coming. How exciting was that? Oh my God. I've stalked road here for bloody 35 years. Cheers, Ant. <laughs> and uh, they never cease to amaze me. That was rotting action <laughs> at its super <laughs> rotting <laughs> best. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You could hear his breath. It was incredible. I could smell his breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Goats, that's amazing. Oh. Oh. Back in the June day for a <laughs> eight o'clock. <laughs> oh. oh, it's not very often I say I'm good, but I'm blumming good. <laughs> oh. Touch metal. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. Look at Anthony's book. What an exciting night. <laughs> Nothing goes to plan, does it, in the rut? <laughs> Third time up for him. We've seen him all spring. Last year, um, last year he was probably better, is the honest truth. So, a really good one to take for us. I really wanted him this year. And uh, last week we came and called. And the doe came, brought him, but they just ran straight up and through and then came round the back of us and where we were where we were waiting they came back and smelt us and that was that done. So uh, tonight called and called and called and nothing. And then suddenly we were just sitting there, sitting there for about half an hour, and then suddenly over the brow of the hill comes this doe. I said, look, 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 and behind him is the big lad. And he's running her hard up and down, stopped for a rate up and down. They came right in front of where we were standing and we were just tucked in some bushes. No, not bothered with us at all. And uh, stopped. There was no point in calling at all. He'd only got one thing on his mind and she'd only got one thing on her mind. And uh, they came back up onto the bank and they just stopped for a bit of a breather and both of them were like... <laughs> and Anthony managed to get the shot. And I reckon this is probably the, probably the third doe he's been with in this area. Um, as we came in earlier on, there was a big old doe, sussed us out straight away and then just snuck off and it isn't, definitely wasn't her that he was running. So, um, brilliant and I'm so pleased yeah, for you. you. I'm so, it's, it was unbelievable. I, I thought when he ran two and a half yards by, I thought, no chance. we spooked him, he's gone. Well, but you know, he, he and was, also when we called and there was nothing happening, you know, it's, you have to make a decision then, you know, I want to get you the book. I'm thinking as he moved further down the valley, 
But I thought, we'll just carry on, we'll just give it half an hour, sat here. And then he, came, he brought it he brought it to us. Absolutely chuffed the bits for you, mate. It's, I'm no, so pleased. And what a book. To, 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 for him almost to present a hundred yards that way, and then a hundred yards that way, and a hundred then in front. Yeah. It, the rifle being yeah. so light and it was such a perfect rifle oh, to use on that. To, and, oh. uh, and so this is the first thing I've shot with the new outfitter. Oh, it's not new, but for me it's new. The new Hornady outfitter, and this is a 308 165 grain GMX. And um, yeah, it ants um, stuck nice, it on the nice, shoulder. Yeah, no recoil. No, no. no. As, as I told him. Um, and, and it did two or three yards. So a lot of people ask me, um, how did it go? So he's in full rut, fun of adrenaline. And uh, and he did a two or three meters, that was all. So um, yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits yeah, with made this up book. Look that. at That's him, just... mate. But is, is, Big you know, metal class book. Years of recon have gone into this, haven't we? Yeah, known about this boy. Years of recon. For... We've got loads and loads of, uh, and we know him. And it's in a way, it's a sad day as well for yeah. us. So, you know, next year, uh, he would be going back even more. There's a, we already know there's a younger six-pointer, three, four hundred metres away that we saw uh, last week uh, that could well even be his son. So uh, a nice story, uh, a beautiful roebuck to take in the rut in his red summer coat. Fantastic tro trophy for Anthony and, and a brilliant memory for yeah, us oh, both, isn't it? Fantastic, so, uh, Owen. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just wipe that bit of blood off. Yeah. It's uh, absolutely yeah. beautiful book. Perfect six pointer, huge brow tines, absolutely heavy as you like on his bases, and uh, starting to thin out a bit on his tops. But look at these angles mm. here, fantastic. Oh, tremendous, isn't it? What a book, awesome. Weidman Sile, as well, we say in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we're going to get some well, rain, yeah. <laughs> so we better uh, get it cleaned up and uh, or perhaps go to the pub. I think. Uh, <laughs> I owe you a drink. <laughs> awesome. And you like my little ride. It's great. Yeah. In that situation, that little... to change direction, fabulous. Light like to carry, but very yeah. pointable. Wonderful. Very pointable. Yeah. My new scope, packing the VX6 yeah. uh, loophole on it with the red dot. Just on six power tonight. Get it from down from three uh, to three power for close up. Absolutely mm. brilliant. No weight hardly at all. No. So chuffed a bit. Oh, look at this book. Fantastic old boy. All his weight's now coming into the bottom. Last year he was thicker in his tops. So we're uh, really pleased for Jan with this book. Oh, the beautiful on his length. Wow, look at how long he is. Wow. Awesome. And as the rain started to fall, it didn't matter. Because <laughs> we were very, very happy. Well, it's raining and we're uh, keeping under cover. We are. That's set in for the night, I think. So, we're going to go and recover the deer. Magnificent. Magnificent. 